Hello, Assalamualaikum. Okay, today uh, I will explain about the linear equation, alright? Okay, before we start, why we call it linear? Linear because of your x power only 1. If x power of 2, then we call it quadratic. Okay? Quadratic. So if your x power of 3, that means it is a cubic. Alright, so we don't talk, I, want, I don't want to explain about the quadratic or cubic. We only focus on linear today. Alright, okay, so let's say, uh, I give you here, okay, 2x, alright, 2x minus 5 equals to 11. Alright, so here see, this is linear. Your power now is equals to 1. Alright, so now how to move? I bring here. Okay, so 2x equals to 11 plus 5. Why you plus 5? Because here is minus 5. So minus opposite is plus. Okay, so here is 2x equals to 16. And your x now is 16. There is no operation uh, in between number 2 and x. So that means this is multiply. Okay. So opposite for multiplication is divide. So divide by 2 and your x now equals to 8. Okay. Alright. We proceed to the next question. Yeah. Okay. Let's say I give you here 3x. Minus 7 equals to 20. Okay? So now, 3x here. Okay? So you take negative 7. You transfer to, to the right side. Okay? So this is negative. So opposite for negative is a positive, right? So we copy first 20 plus 7. So, 3x now equals to 27. Always remember, when you see like this, there is no operation, right? In between 3 and x, that means it is multiplication. So, now, when here is x, you want to transfer 3 to here. So, that means here is 27, you divide by 3. See, Multi multiply, here is divide. See, opposite, right? So now your x will be 9. Okay. Okay, next. Alright. So let's say I give you x. Okay, no. I give you 7 equals to x over 2. Okay. So this line means divide. Okay. When you want to transfer 2 to to the left side so opposite for divide is multiply right so now you will have x equals to 7 times 2 so 7 times 2 is the 14 equals to x okay so now next one okay so okay one more i give you 3x over 2 equals to 5 so here is divide okay opposite for divide okay is a multiply so 3x equals to 10 now your x will be 10 over 3 easy all right now one more okay how about if i give you 5x over 6 equals 1 over 4 okay so this question i prefer to do like x that means you have to multiply okay so now 5x you multiply with 4 and 1 you multiply with 6 so here you will have 5 times 4 is 20 x equals to 6 now, your x will be 6 over, okay, so over 20, 
Alright, so that means when you simplify, you will have 3 over 10. Okay? Okay, one more. Okay, different pattern. Okay? If I give you something like this, x over 5 minus 6 equals to negative 2. Okay, first of all, you have to transfer negative 6 to uh, right side. Okay, so here is uh, x over 5 equals to, this is negative 2, correct? So negative, you want to transfer to the different side, so opposite for negative will be positive 6. So x over 5 equals to 4. Now, this means divide. Once you transfer to here, it will be multiplied. Okay? So now, you will have x equals to 5 times 4, 20. Okay? Alright. One more. Okay. How about if I give you 8 minus 2y equals to 5 minus 5y. Okay. Put one side together all here. For y, you put left side. Numbers, you transfer to the right side. Okay. So, you will have here. This is negative 5. Opposite will be positive. 5 minus 2y equals to 5. You copy back number 5 here. Okay, this is positive 8. So, will be opposite, uh, positive will be negative. So, 5 minus 2, 3. Y equals to negative 3. Correct? Here. Okay. So, now, this is the uh, multiply. So, opposite for multiply will be D. Divide. So, negative 3 over 3. That means your Y equals to negative 1. Easy, right? Okay, one more. Let's say I give you fraction. Okay? So, negative x over 2 plus 1 equals to negative 1 over 4. Okay? So, same thing. Okay? I want to make it this one positive. So, I'll bring here to this side and this number to the left side. So, this is negative negative. So, now it will be x over 2. Positive, right? So, now this is negative also. So, it will be 1 over 4 plus 1. Okay? So, 1, that means same like, means 4 over 4. Correct? So, now 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4 equals to x over 2. So, now you have to multiply. So, 5 times 2 equals to 10. 4 times x is 4x. That means your x equals to 10 over 4 or 5 over 2. Okay? Alright, that's all for today. Uh, I already explained about the linear equation. So, the next one, I will give you um, linear equation a video but a different type of uh, questions. Yeah, assalamualaikum.